Join me today as we talk about a new Battletech box set coming out uh, June 18th or somewhere thereabouts. Welcome back to those of you who've been here before. Welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, my name is Bobby. This is the Geek Cabal channel. And uh, today uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about a new Battletech box set uh, that is similar to this one here, the beginner box, uh, in that it is a beginner box and comes with two battle mechs just like this one. Uh, but it's going to be available exclusively at Target, uh, at least for a while. Uh, these exclusive deals, they do have a sunset clause, or at least the other ones have, so we assume this one will. Uh, and before I get into the, the details of the box set itself, I just want to note some things that I have read from the Gen Con forums, or not Gen Con forums, don't know why they'd be on the Gen Con forums, uh, the Battletech forums, where some of the folks who work at Catalyst do post, and they have a spokesman for them who posts on there. And to give you an idea how big of a deal this is, the print run for this new box is greater than all of the print runs for the main box set for the game, the game of Armored Combat. I believe somewhere in the ballpark of 60,000 copies of that have been printed, and Target, to do this deal, demanded something like 65,000 copies of this to be printed to go to all their stores. So this is a really big deal. Uh, they didn't say as much, but this is probably why the Kickstarter got delayed a few months because they had to have everything firing on all cylinders to get this made and to get the copies physically made in time. So this is a major undertaking and hopefully this is the beginning of Catalyst really, really getting the name out there because it's one thing to be big in game stores it's another thing for your game to be on Target's shelves, okay? That's, now you're into like Ticket to Ride territory, you know, where they've sold millions of copies of that game, uh, Settlers of Catan, uh, games like this that are really, that are really known big games now. And uh, the fact that this is, uh, that this is the start of that, hopefully, and the fact that this is a, a miniatures game, which the others really aren't. So, you know, this could be the start of something, of something really big. We'll just have to see, uh, you know, fingers crossed. Uh, also, fingers crossed that this isn't one of those situations where it's like the band selling out and getting big actually screws over everything if that happens. So let's hope that getting big doesn't also equate to that. Uh, in, a, in a, another kind of side note before I get into this, uh, just a general catalyst comment. Uh, for those of you who have not seen so, Catalyst now has a separate board game division. Because uh, right now they have like Battletech and Shadowrun don't really, aren't really board games. Uh, Shadowrun's an RPG. This is a tabletop war game and also an RPG. Uh, and one or two of their other games just don't really fall into the board game dynamic as most people understand it. So they have now a separate division for board games. Uh, I believe they recently acquired either some specific games or a whole board game company. I don't know which one off the top of my head. Uh, if I I'll look it up, put it in the comments if I can think about it. Uh, so that's something. So that means them as a company, they as a company are growing. Uh, because those of you who don't know, Battletech and Shadowrun, which I believe are their two biggest products, are both licensed from Tops. So. They're, as a company, they need material that they own so they're not paying a license, a royalty fee. Now, they might be making so much off Battletech that royalty fee doesn't matter. That's possible. I don't know the internal dynamics. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it could also be that they're ultimately hoping to try to buy the rights from Tops. Because, uh, I mean, I don't know what Tops is going to do with them. So, and Tops was willing to sell Hero Clicks, so they might be amenable 
Uh, but anyway, but as a company, they need to have things that, that they own just in case something were to ever happen with the rights for the other games, you know, so they can still have a company. So it makes sense, and I definitely wish them well in their endeavors. So, uh, yeah. So that aside, let's uh, switch over here so we can talk about the, uh, the new thing here. And now we're recording... Go. So this is the Battletech Essentials box, uh, and as I said, this is available exclusively through Target. This is the Target pre-order page, and I will post the link to this in the description because the pre-order is open now, apparently. And uh, like I said, the date is uh, June eighteenth, twenty twenty-three, and. Uh, yeah, so here's the cover. Now, for those of you who know much about Battletech, you might know what's here on the cover. This is a Solaris 7 arena. In Battletech, on the planet Solaris 7, there is mech gladiatorial combat where battle mechs fight it out. Uh, also, not just battle mechs, also like uh, armored companies, tanks, everything. But, but the main draw is the battle mix. And so, uh, for our new thing here, there's, within the box set, there's going to be the quick start rules that I believe are going to be the same as the ones in the beginner box. Uh, as we see here, there's a new, uh, yeah, there's a new uh, short story here. Uh, from what I can see, I'm guessing the title is Spanner in the Works. And that's by Michael Stackpole, who's a longtime Battletech author. Uh, there's the Essentials Rule Book. We'll get our cards here uh, for Justin Allard, who I unfortunately don't know a lot about certain eras of the Battletech timeline, but I believe, based on the name, this is probably Kai Allard Lau's father. I think. Could be his son, but I think it's his father. Uh, and I don't know about Gray Noten, but the two mechs are, the top one here is a Centurion, it is Yen Lo Wang, the, the famed uh, Solaris 7 Gladiator mech, uh, and eventually Kai Lard Lau uses a version of it, and in the current timeline, uh, Denai Lau Centrea used a similar mech as well. Uh, she put it in storage because now she's a commander and needs a real battle mech. And uh, this one, I believe from the forums, this is Legend Killer. I don't know what its claim to fame is, but based on the name, I'm going to assume it's good at taking down legendary battle mechs. So as you can see, we do still have the, the cardboard punch out, uh, at the very least with the Centurion and a Rifleman, but also a Wolverine and a Thunderbolt it looks like. Uh, we have a Solaris 7 Arena map, which we probably, which you can't really see much here in this picture. Don't do that. Okay. So, and also the, the larger record sheets, not just the cards for uh, Classic Battletech. Uh, here you can see the record sheets a little bit better. Uh, there's more of the cutouts. So I believe these are objective tokens of some kind, uh, some terrain here. There's the instant guide to the inner sphere that most of these box sets have. Uh, there's also a set of rules for the arena map for Solaris 7. I'm sure those are not all encompassing because this is just a $25 box set, but it's probably the beginning of an interest to see where this goes. Uh, that Catalyst will probably make a larger uh, Solaris 7 product somewhere down the road. Could be a rule book, uh, could be another box set. We'll just have to see, but uh, I imagine that'll be after the Kickstarter is mostly into production uh, and they can take a more hands off approach, but I could be wrong. Uh, it could be the topic of the next Kickstarter, but I doubt it just because of the, the setup. It's usually one on one mech battles. So that, that'd be hard to, to try to come up with box sets and everything for that. So I imagine it would just be a regular product, but I could be wrong. 
Then uh, there's a close up again of the two mechs. And uh, no, I don't already have this product. It's not out yet. Then, like I said, there's the box set itself, where you can see the, the rifleman here in red on close on the right, and more distant on the left is the centurion. So, yep, that's uh, let's see, let's go down here into the description. Uh, so, we got the quick start rules, the instant guide to the inner sphere, uh, Solaris 7 arena map rule sheet, two high quality fully assembled plastic miniatures, a 24 page novella, a punch board for additional pieces, four record sheets. Uh, that would be the uh, not just the rifleman and the centurion, but also the uh, thunderbolt and and the wolverine. Uh, there'd be record sheets for all of them. Uh, there's a double-sided game map and four mech warrior cards. Now, without seeing the map itself, um, I don't know. See if there's any pieces. Like, there's the green. Okay, so here you can see the you can see the arena here. I don't know if that's interacting with the green or if that's another laid on top of it. Uh, but without seeing it, I don't know if you're going to want to have two of them to put them back to back to actually make the full arena or not. But I'm guessing that's probably what it's going to be. Uh, that's purely a guess based on some of the others, but that's a possibility. So anyway, uh, that's the the new product. And like I said, it'll be out, what is today, the 27th? About three weeks, maybe a month from now. And uh, definitely once I pick one up, I'm sure I'll be doing a review for it. So check back here in uh, about a month for a review on the, on the game itself. And uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to actually read through the Solaris 7 stuff. And when we're around to having enough people together to actually do the, the playthroughs of the beginning set, Hopefully, uh, this one won't be too far behind. We'll be able to do a playthrough of the Solaris 7 rules. But we'll have to see how that goes. I'd like to thank you folks for watching. Uh, let us know down in the comments what you think. That's the most important thing. Uh, so we know if you approve of what we're doing, like what we're doing, want to see more, want to see less, want to see something else. Uh, you know, whatever. But uh, other than that, thank you folks for watching. I always... Appreciate likes, subscribe, shares, all that fun stuff. Obviously, it's YouTube, but you know the drill. But other than that, catch you folks later.